everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy vlogmas! <laughs> Happy Vlogmas! Welcome to my channel. It is an amazing day. It's Christmas. It's holiday season. It's December. Hello! 2020 is almost over. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Delaney and if you <laughs> didn't know, it's Vlogmas. I am so excited for today's video. I'm so excited for the holiday season, for Vlogmas, for everything that I have coming up. And today's video is an exciting one. We're kicking things off with building a hot chocolate charcuterie board. I saw one of these on TikTok. TikTok. I've seen them on Pinterest and I just have to give it a try. I made this really cool snack board a couple weeks ago now and it was first of all delicious, second of all not that expensive, and third of all so aesthetically pleasing. I love it. So I'm going to try to build one of these for like the cheapest amount possible and we're going to try and like figure it out. So we're going to go to the Dollar Tree, Five Below, Target, the grocery store. I'm not sure how many places I'm going to end up going. Last week I bought these like clean clear glass bowls from the Dollar Tree and so I might buy a couple more of those but I know I want to find like some mini mugs um, and like maybe some mini Christmas mugs I think would be really cute hot chocolate, candy canes, little chocolate treats. I have a list going on my phone, so I'm pretty excited, but we're just gonna wing it for this first part, but my inspiration is here. We will figure it out as we go, and this is gonna be an awesome Vlogmas holiday season and video. Let's go to Starbucks because I don't think I can do anything before this. <laughs> Can I get a bacon and gouda sandwich? All right, what else? Can I do a venti iced chai tea latte? And can I top that with pumpkin cream cold foam? Oh, you too. So I'm at the Dollar Tree now. I just put my seat back because I was making a TikTok. Um, it was like a coffee one, but I'm gonna eat my sandwich in the car because your girl's on the go and I don't wanna eat in there. I'm also just gonna drink my coffee and like listen to this podcast a little bit more before I go in and then we will do some shopping and all that good stuff. Okay, I just finished eating my sandwich and drank some of my coffee and now I'm going to sprint inside because I don't wanna bring in my coffee because I don't wanna like move my mask on and off to drink and I don't have a straw because I'm saving the turtles and so just everything is not lining up. So we're gonna run into Dollar Tree. There's your B-roll. Uh, where is it? You can't even see, the, the sign is there. The sign is there. I'm gonna run in and buy random things that I need. So let's see. Okay, the goods have been gotten. It is, I, I spent about 30 minutes in there, but y'all, I think I got everything I needed for this. I was expecting to have to go to like four different stores and I think I got everything, which means we can just go home and get started. Didn't even spend $20. I spent like 17-ish dollars with tax. Like I think it was $17.51, so I probably got like 16-ish things. But I'm very excited. My coffee is still cold, thank the Lord. So now we're just gonna go home. I thought we were gonna have to go to other stores, but we can just start making this thing. So I spent just under $18. I spent $17.51. Let's just get into what I bought because I know you're curious. First, I got these napkins because we will actually use these and they will be a nice little aesthetic appeal on the side of my charcuterie board. I had to get hot chocolate, obviously. 
I thought I got two of these. Maybe I just got one. You can't have hot chocolate without marshmallows. So I got two different sizes. I got small ones and big ones. Some Cool Whip because they didn't have whipped cream. And so I just figured this is similar. <laughs> Don't come at me. I got these little straw thingies, dark chocolate little straw things. And then I got peppermints, so I just got red and white ones. The find of the day, in my opinion, was these chocolate spoons that are literally for hot chocolate and peppermint chocolate spoons. This is gonna make the whole board and they were only a dollar. Like. I love the Dollar Tree. Can the Dollar Tree sponsor me? Because I would die. <laughs> um, we've got peppermint patties. We've also got some of the Andes mints. These are like the ones they give out at Olive Garden. Just thought they would be a nice little minty touch. And then I got some hugs, and I also got more Hershey Kisses because those are just always a good little thing. And then I got these little peppermint sticks. And I also got some M&Ms because I might end up making um, these again, but someone told me to try it with hugs, so I figured maybe I'll give that a try. I also got two mugs. I wasn't planning on getting mugs, but like for the sake of this aesthetic appeal of this photo that I'm going to take, I got two Santa mugs, and I'm gonna hang them on our little coffee, co our coffee bar, and then we'll have like festive Christmas mugs, and it'll just be like super cute time. So that is everything that I got. I spent seventeen dollars and fifty-one cents, and now we can actually make this into the hot chocolate board. I have a few leftover things from the last board that I made, so I'm gonna end up using those too. But I am so excited. Let's get started. So we're getting started. I have this little tray thing that my roommate has on our coffee table in there. I'm gonna use this as my backdrop to make this hot cocoa board. That was so much fun. I'm so excited to have this board done and like I have to take a bunch of photos of it still so that I can post one on my Instagram. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram if you have not already. Now let me show you the aftermath of my kitchen in making this. My roommate's out of town today. She's hiking and camping or something. So I'm gonna clean all of this up. I'm not a bad roommate, I promise. Um, but let me show you guys the mess that I made because it's a little hectic. So we have the perfectly aesthetic board, but what you don't usually see is the trash and scraps of all of the things that I used to make it. So there's just cookies in my living room now, everywhere. When you go in here, you'll find some chips on a plastic bag that I moved because they were in one of the bowls that I was using, an open container for the cookies that I used, some milk that I used for it, the wrappers, some tissue paper, Cool Whip, hot chocolate mix, M&Ms, cookies are back there. And that's the overview. So now I have to clean all this up. I'm gonna snap a couple pictures of the board before I clean up, so let's do that really quick. So after I finished making the charcuterie, or making the hot chocolate charcuterie board and everything, I did have some extras, so I packaged everything back up. I'm gonna bring them home and do another one with my boyfriend in a few weeks when I go home for the holidays. He also called me and was like, you made it without me? Um, yes, sorry babe. Um, but I 
absolutely loved doing this. Let me know if you guys like this because I have been having a blast making different snack boards and things. And I know this one isn't technically charcuterie because there's no meat on it and it's only like desserts, but hot chocolate board does, does, it doesn't sound as cool as hot chocolate charcuterie board. You know what I mean? Anyways, I just put this all back together and I made it into a new little setup. I need to find some other little fillers for this tray but if you have any ideas let me know that is the end of vlogmas day one i'm so excited for vlogmas this year have a lot of creative ideas so make sure that you subscribe and stick around if you like today's video and there will be plenty more coming your way soon i love you guys all so much and i will see you tomorrow with something new bye everyone mm -hmm.